Yeah. If you don't like music, then you're not even human. Because you see, music soothes the savage beast. Now, I know there's different types of music all over. But if you're a music lover or a connoisseur, if you will, you will appreciate all kinds of music like I do. But then again, that's just me. I love music. What can I say? What's going on? I, I, how am I going to do the windows? Uh, I want to do outside first. Outside first? Yes. Oh, just today? Huh? You want me to just do the outside today? Yeah. Okay. What about the inside of the door? Yeah. We can do all this front door. And all. Okay. Gonna, this door is getting scraped completely, right? Yeah. This door is you want all these stickers off? Yeah. Okay. And then this window gets scraped completely both sides? It's okay. on the exterior is the label, the inside. He has to clean it. Right? Yeah. I mean, yeah, scrape yeah. the outside and clean, and then all these windows on the outside get scraped and then cleaned. Right. Yep. Okay. And we can clean inside too if we have if we move. I mean if, if I can I mean whatever I can get. Okay. I mean that that shelf is too yeah, you know, well, too heavy well, to move. Can, as as you finish that up, we'll, we'll be able to move that a little bit for you. Oh, yeah, no okay. Yep. Yeah, that's that's the first. Yeah, that door completely gets cleaned both sides and scraped. All right. Um and then and then facing all the outside of those four windows too. You didn't tell me you you wanted the stickers off. I was just getting the tape off. You know, that's that's gonna take a lot of time. What? To get them stickers off. You know. It's gonna leave tape residue behind, you know. Well that one's easy, but I'm talking about like these these ain't gonna just peel no, off. Leave that here. You can uh, scrape the whole thing here. Well, what about all this yeah, stuff? Yeah, just take it out. Alright. Well, that's going that's gonna be extra to get get all these stickers off. You want this on, on there too? No, take, take it off? off? Yeah. Okay. But this what this stays? What stays? Only this stays. Okay. Everything else has off. to be removed. Yeah. Okay. And these and the ones on the outside too, right? Yeah. All outside is yeah. okay. These we're gonna keep it back. But I'm gonna leave it. Here. Yeah, after when we're, after when it's clean. Yeah. Okay. All right. It's going to be an extra $10 to, to get that off. Because it's going to take, take time. This too. You got to take that out too. All these. Oh, shoot. You ain't tell me all that. I didn't know you wanted me to get that off. That's really going to take time. I mean, it's no big deal, but that, you know, uh, taking tape off is one thing, but. Vinyl, lettering, takes time. It's, you know. It's... So what I told you, 40, so that's going to be 65 to, to remove that. And I don't know how how that's going to come up easy because. It's going to come up easy. This is nothing. No, that's nothing, but this stuff. We did it before. Yeah, it's not, it's not that hard. Yeah, but it just takes time. You don't understand what I mean. It takes time. You know, it's not just cleaning the window. I got to physically scrape all the residue off because if it doesn't, it's not going to come out properly when I clean it. Right. But uh, I don't know. Um, it's kind of hard to charge for that because I don't normally do that. I just clean windows and if there's tape. But I'll, I'll do it for you. But I don't know how long it's going to take me. I have to see. Uh, once I start, you know, because uh, I, I mean, I have the tools to get it off, obviously, but I would like to have a, my heat gun. Heat gun makes it much easier. It, it makes it pull off the window quicker. Oh, is it? Yeah, that's that's the trick that I have for that. But I don't know if I have that in the in the car. So I got to do it the old fashioned way. It's a lot slower. I don't want to do it, but, I, you know, do you have, do you have a gun? 
I have a heat gun, but that's I don't I don't have I don't know if I have it with me. I have to check the trunk. But I'll check the trunk and uh, I'll get my stuff together either way. All right. Uh, I forgot to make the second part of this video and tell y'all once I got done that don't you know this guy had the nerve to start adding things on? It went from $40 up to $100 because I told him what we get on the low end is like a dollar a minute and that's for storefronts and I said which is why a lot of us don't get involved they rather do houses because it's more money involved and we can get up to a hundred dollars an hour on houses and I said it takes us literally 60 seconds no more to clean a window properly in and out a good size window and a dollar a minute a dollar per window that's not a whole lot of money so most of us will charge 50 cents to two dollars a window on storefronts uh, that's on the average but the frequency is there the consistency is there so you're getting residual income week after week, month after month, which if you have enough jobs, it can pay really well. And you don't have to spend a lot of time because you know it's not dirty. You can get in and get out quickly. Now that's what I call quick money. But where the time comes involved is when you start getting into detail work, like getting tape off the windows. So this guy has these lights surrounding the window. He wanted me to take them down. Then he wanted me to take the decal vinyl off. Now we all know that you just can't rush through that. That doesn't come up easy. Especially if it's been on there long and the sun's been baking it in there and all that crap. I said, man... I said, not only did you not have your windows done in 40 years, he said, 40 years? I said, well, it might as well have been 40 years because you got organic tint on there. He said, organic tint, what's that? I said, that's when you're too cheap to buy real tint so you just let your windows get dirty to block the sunlight. That's what I mean. He starts laughing. I said, yeah, because you wait 40 years to clean it. So my guess is it's going to be a one-shot deal. He's going to wait another 40 years to clean his windows because of the amount of filth that was on there. You should have seen the customers come in and there looking around like, damn. They probably was like, damn, am I in the right store? I know they had to see them how, how clean them windows are and how nasty they were. But when I explained to the guy... $60 an hour, a dollar a minute. I spent an hour just taking off that crap. Another hour cleaning. That's two hours there. Now, that's $120. I said, man, I'm cutting you a break at $100. I said, I don't even do this type of work. I did it for you because you asked me to. I gave up this kind of work a long time ago. Why? Because there's too much time involved. And when it comes time to me charging or people paying the price, people like him don't want to pay it. You see, he tried to haggle me with the price. When I told him, that's what it was. He should have been grateful I did it anyway. You know, so I went down to $85. I said, I'll cut you a break. So this guy going to be a pig and say, I have another three windows. Can you do them too? I said, man, I ain't want to be here this long. I said, not today. I got other stuff. Oh, you can't, you don't have time to do it? I said, look, man, I just did something that I normally don't do, but I did it because you asked me. I said, now you want me to go even further after you done jacked up all this extra price? He wanted me to do that for $40 and still clean all that work? I don't think so. That's why I said $100. 
So he said, see, I said, seeing as how you are going to call me to come back, I'll, I'll stick with the 85. So guess what this fool said? No. Uh, you you uh, include that. I, I looked at him with my head turned to the side like, like a dog is curious. I said, how you figure that's included? You told me and pointed out what you wanted to get done. Those windows weren't even a factor. So now he wants me to include that because he's not paying $40 no more. He feels though his $85 should get him more. I just gave him more. Now he won't be a pig and, and, and take more by having me clean more windows and, and, and not pay, pay me for them. You know, I said, you know what? No problem. What Lola wants, Lola gets. So, hey, call me doing a good deed for the day. Maybe he might remember me when it comes time to do his house or his other store. I'm a sock it to him, and he ain't going to even know what hit him. Yeah, I'll fix him, Mr. El Cheapo. I got his ticket, and I'm about to cash it, too. But needless to say, I, it's not like I needed the money, but it was real quick money, and I made quick use of it took two hours out of my time but I mean shoot at least he's happy I'm not happy you know I take pride and pleasure in my work I'll be damned if I'm gonna let somebody Jew me down sorry for the Jews out there but it's just an expression you know haggle me down in price you know the price is what it is I, he lucky I didn't say I think you might want to find somebody else because I don't do that type of work. Felt bad for the guy, you know. So sue me, sue me for 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 helping somebody out. But there you go. Uh, I'll see you in the next one.